What's up, beautiful people? It's your boy, Justin Martin, and this is the second Q&R video of this year. Uh, quick house cleaning. I just uploaded a video for the Blackmagic Pocket uh, app, or really it's an app that uses that can work with any Blackmagic camera, but it's not made by Blackmagic Design. I thought it was. I didn't even look at who made it in the app store. It's actually made by We Are Empire Pty ltd so yeah uh that does, still doesn't change my opinion on it but if you want to know it go watch it it's a walkthrough pretty basic yeah i just want to thank you all who actually participated again in the question and response uh poll that i put up on twitter and instagram um i, I mean honestly i really appreciate you guys interaction um lately i've noticed that i don't have the voice for youtube you know everybody has that particular youtube voice for me it sounds like either i'm slurring i do slur my words a lot and two is just i have so much bass in my voice that comes out of nowhere and so the audio i haven't spent much time to really fix that so sometimes it's lower and then sometimes it's higher i'm just rambling this is gonna be a rough one not too rough editing editing how do you like editing on DaVinci compared to the Premiere and Final Cut? I've been using DaVinci for the past almost six months now, and it's become my bigger project editing software. So if right now I'm editing a short film that's taking me longer than I want it to be. Yes, yeah, so I'm using more of that for um, all of my bigger projects, short docs, short films, yada, 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 commercial spec work, that stuff. YouTube stuff, I'm editing directly on Final Cut Pro. So I like that workflow right now. That's what I do. I haven't touched Premiere ever since I switched over from DaVinci. That was a very long answer to that question. Let's move on. The best and worst thing about the Blackmagic Pocket. I think the worst thing is the form factor. It's a very odd camera to hold and to really navigate. Um, around when trying to, for me, holding handheld. Cause like if I'm on a top handle and I want to focus, I'll focus this way. But then if I need to stop recording, there's no, you know, stop and start button anywhere on the camera, but on the right side. So I have to switch hands and press uh, stop record or start record. So I think that is just the, the, the way the camera is built is just very bad in my opinion. Um, it would have been better if it's a cube. It would have been better if it was something other than a DSLR form factor. Um, that being said, I do plan on getting a, not a Nano, but the Nucleus M, which is the controller, uh, focus controller and the recording. So I can just rig that up. I saw the SIG rig, I'll post it around here somewhere, but I wanna do that because that just seems, um, it makes logical sense, everything on one side. So yeah, the best thing about it is just the image. Anybody that talks about this camera and learns how to really use this, this has a beautiful image for its price point and that's the selling point for this camera. You can get really amazing image quality out of this. Yeah. Do you guys really want to see a storage video? I feel like I become this very boring monotone voice when I do stuff like that. I mean, to be honest, there is, there is some merit to watching a storage video because um, I've learned so much on how to manage media. I'm going through a slight media crisis right now. My business partner and I talked about getting some new drives, but um, yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess I will do a storage video in the near future. Marvin asks, hey, may I know what your export settings on DaVinci Resolve for IG video? Thanks in advance. I guess are you talking about just for video stuff? Cause it's gonna, it's gonna compress the heck out of it um, anyway, so. I just make sure it's a MP4 or MOV, something that can top on my phone and I'll just upload it that way. So, sorry, I'm not very helpful in this this case. I don't have a Pacific, I don't have a specific way of exporting to IG in terms of video. Okay, next question. How can I get 10K so I can build my dream rig? I have a lot of great skills, but been doing free stuff. Then start charging for things. Just that easy. But if you want a little bit more conversation, just hit me up on a DM and my business partner and I, we can kind of talk you through things. But yes, stop doing free work. Well, still do free work, 
but push for more paid work. So how does the Blackmagic Pocket Camera compare to higher end cameras you've used? Oh, it's right up there. So I currently use the FS7. Um, I've used the Aira Mira, Canon C200, the C100, the uh, a lot of cameras. How does it compare? It's right, like I will put this in terms of the sensor and in terms of how it renders color and highlight roll off once you understand how to expose it and everything. Um, it's right up with the FS7s, lower model reds. It's a beautiful sensor to work with. There's a lot of things you need to work around for this camera. In, in my opinion, it's right up there. Can I get some insight on the image quality versus the GH5? So again, um, I think the GH5 is still a great camera um, and it fits particular jobs. Um, if, if you're looking for a particular look and, and just the way the camera handles itself. But the overall picture in comparison to the two cameras, the it's it's a... Uh, <laughs> Uh, the Black Magic is, in my opinion, miles ahead. Um, the 12-bit Kodak with RAW and the way it just handles its color and um, everything about it is just, I think, is beyond. Don't, don't get me wrong; you can still get great images out of the GH5. I, I, my, my own opinion, I've gotten great images out of it. The GH5s might be a little bit more comparable just because I have to dual native iso uh, so it can compete almost you know step by step but once you learn how to understand this chart you can really make some gorgeous imagery out of this camera the black magic that is so that's my two cents um if you're looking if you are someone who just needs to take the next step into image quality you might want to look at this camera if you don't want to spend all the extra money for the little bits you need to do for this camera totally understandable um, prices save up to get an Ursa Mini or C200 or any other camera out there like that, but um, I would highly suggest this camera. Yeah. And the last question I'm going to end on is from Twitter. The one question I got, appreciate you Kyle, you rock. I don't say you rock. If you can only use the Blackmagic or the GH5 for the rest of your career, and I guess this has been a running theme, everybody wants to know what would I run it with, not just me, but just like based on these two cameras. So this is the best way I can put it. Again, if you're a hybrid shooter that needs to have great stabilization, that doesn't want to rig up the camera as much as I did with mine, but still get great image quality, um, use vlog, have 10 bit, the highest settings. The GH5 is going to be the camera for you. All these really small packs running gun, package running gun type of filming. Um, small commercials for businesses, things like that. Absolutely, it's a good, versatile camera. Vice versa, go going into the Black Magic, you're crossing that line into something that's, that can take your production quality another level for sure. And so this is why I would pick the Black Magic Pocket. They, I think they did a great job in terms of giving you a lot for little. Um, and if you, you know, don't mind spending the little extra things just to make this camera a little bit more functional, batteries, cage, um, and if you already have lenses, sure. And what's great about both cameras, they are Micro Four Thirds, which is probably the most versatile lens mount out there. You can adapt that to PL, EF, you name it, right? Um, old film, medium format uh, lenses as well. So you have a very versatile camera that can give you ci cinema quality to start. There's a lot more to cinema. There's a lot more to uh, making great films. Story is one of them, but the image quality is going to get you a leap above um, the rest in terms of how you want to separate yourself, how it looks, because uh, this, this is just giving you the look. This is not telling the story. But uh, wow, that yeah, words. So um, I appreciate this. If you guys like these types of videos, let me know in the comments. Check out the links. There will be some more things coming very, very soon. Shout out to my wife because she knows I've been working a lot at work during the day and then coming here at home and doing these videos. So love you, babe. She's probably in the other room right now. Yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.